AI for developers is getting better and better with every single update in these foundational models. Now, I am blown away by Anthropic's newest AI artifact experimental feature in Claude, which includes gold generation. So I decided to give it a try and created a quick game with it. This is beyond cool. So let's see how Claude helped me create code then refine it and then make it a truly fun game. I even recovered from some errors along the way and it blew my mind. So let's see how it worked. Great, so we start here where I end up typing that we wanna create a fish in eight bits. We have the fish, which is amazing. Now I wanna create more fishes in other colors and I want them to be created and moved from the opposite direction. So I give it those instructions and it does a pretty cool job starting to write the code, animated 8-bit style fishes. Great, that's what I wanted. Now, I actually want this to, want my blue fish to sort of move up and down in order to start going into scoring mechanism. And so I ask it to do that, uh, move up and down um, so that we can start uh, looking at scores and also make fishes open the mouth if they end up eating each other as they collide. Now it's doing a new version of the code, which would be interactive fish avoidance game. I kind of also like how it's naming uh, the, the code. This is, the fishes are moving pretty fast, but we can handle that later. My bigger issue is my blue fish isn't moving up and down at all. So it didn't quite do what I asked it to do. So now I'm saying, looks like the original blue fish is not moving at all. And, um, and so I want it to move so that we can score the game with 10 plus 10 each time the, the fish collides with the other fish coming from other direction. And there we go, our fish is now moving, the blue one. And I actually want to make the, make the, make sure that the fish moves up and down as well. So there is an opportunity to collide. And so we can get a score because right now they weren't moving up and down. So now it's calling the code dynamic fish eating game, which is great. And so now we can see they're bouncing up and down, which is uh, creating an opportunity to get some score. And we are also seeing the score now. Now I just wanna go ahead and slow down some of these fishes so I can actually see what's going on. And uh, that, uh, and it updates the code to make the, what, make the fish go slower, which is great. And then next, so now I can actually see that it's eating, colliding, and then it's making the score go up. Now I want to add more fishes to be eaten. And that's kind of what the code is doing. It's enhancing the game with three more fishes. And so now I have five or so fishes. And, and actually I made a mistake. I said introduce from left. Instead, I actually wanted them introduced from the right so they become the competing fishes that we could eat. And there we go, we got, and it now corrected what I wanted it to do. So this is great. I can actually, I also made the fish bigger, the blue one. And, and I'm very happy with the, with the game. You can see the me moving the cursor and as I move the cursor, I'm able to collide more. And then I can also see the code. I can uh, go ahead and download the code if I wanted to. So I did that and then I opened it up in the HTML and looks like I can still play the game <laughs> with the local um, HTML, which is perfect. Now, I also wanted to go ahead and try and see if I can use this code base and deploy it in cloud. So I asked another prompt. I wanted to deploy this game on Google Cloud Cloud Run. Could you please guide me to do that? And I'm expecting some steps here. So it generates, because Cloud Run is a serverless platform. It generates a um, Docker file, um, server.js gives me the project structure, which is perfect server.js and then package.json and also a Docker file and then some instructions on how to use the Google Cloud SDK. And there we have it. I told Claude 
what the fish should do and then what the obstacles are and boom it created the code for a fully functional game complete with graphics animations and even scorekeeping hey if you like this video and want to see more ai and cloud related content give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and add a comment below to let me know your suggestions on what topics you would like me to cover on the channel. Thank you. Bye.